Hi, in this class, we will discuss about the double harmonic minor scale in music here. So let us dive into this point. So as we have discussed about, so first of all, we need to fix the root here. Okay, in this case, the for double harmonic minor, I'm going to consider the root scale as a C. The root scale is C. Okay, now let us dive into this. So I'm going to start this one as a first scale, first key is a C here. Okay, now the second key will be here. This is second key is a two flat. What is one? It can be written like this one sharp, or else so we can write C sharp. And uh, here, else one more way also we can represent this one that is a, a two flat, or else we can write like this that is a this is D flat. This way also we can represent. Then the third key is then the third key is here that is E is the third key. And the fourth key is F. Okay. And the fifth key is G. Okay. And the sixth key is so is a double harmonic minor and this uh, harmonic minor. So is the same thing and nothing is different. So only this uh, uh, three flat is there. No, that instead of this, you are going to get a two flat. That's the only difference here. Okay. So here, this is going to be a, you can write this one like this in this fashion. That is a five sharp, which is called as a G sharp or else you can represent this one in a different fashion. That is a, a six flat or a flat. Okay. Then <coughs> rest of the key, okay, another key that is which is called as a B is the seventh key, like this. B is the seventh key. Then here, the last key we need to also write it down. That is a so this one is a, another one is C C scale here. Now what we will do is we will try to uh, find the difference here. Okay. So let us see this. So first one to the second one, the key difference is here that much is a half here. So this is going to be half. Okay. And from second one to the third one, so there is going to be one half here and one half here and another half here. So what is this value here? So totally three halves, you know, so three halves means whole half you will be getting it here. So I am representing, so this is completely one entity. Okay. So that's why I'm re representing it in a bracket. Now the next one is uh, we know that here this is only half difference. Okay, so that is going to be a half. Then another next one is going to be a one half here and another half here. So this is going to be one whole key. Then likewise you can see here. So from here to here the key difference is half. So here you can write it half here, right? And from here to here again same thing. So we need to find out that is here one half and one half and one half so totally a totally the whole half is the difference here from a flat to b a flat to b here okay and so the next two key is here there is going to be one half here okay so there is going to be half so you can also write the root key this a double harmonic minor with the terms of a differences so that is I am writing it here. So half, whole half, half, whole, half, whole half, whole. whole. This way also you can write. Or else one more thing also we can do that is <clears throat> since we are talking about the C, so the C scale here that is a C, C sharp, E, F, G, G sharp, B are the keys in the double harmonic minor scale. Or else one more thing also we can write C, D flat, E, F, G, A flat, B. This way also we can write the key notes in the double harmonic minor. 
one more thing also we can do that is so you are uh, not comfortable with remembering this uh, alphabetic order also what we can do is we can write like this one two sharp three four five five sharp and a seven or else one more way also we can do that is here which i'm writing it here one two flat three yeah one one flat will come here one one flat first case okay two flat three four five six flat and seven so like this also we can easily say this one okay so these are the things related to the double harmonic minor so you have you either you can remember this the key keys in the like this fashion or else you can remember in any one of this format okay so it is better to remember so one two flat three four five six flat seven okay so if you look at this all the keys here so let me summarize here so if you look at the double harmonic minor okay double for a double harmonic minor so you can observe one key difference here that is uh, the key difference here is for a double harmonic minor so two flat and a six flat okay and uh, likewise you can also see the harmonic minor three flat and a six flat okay and uh, for melodic minor you can see only three flat and for minor scale you can observe there is a three flat and a five six flat and seven flat okay yeah you can do like this here here three flat six flat and a seven flat so this is the way okay so these are the things you can easily remember in this fashion or this fashion okay so the double harmonic minor contains two flat and six flat so these are the keys you can observe in a double harmonic minor scale in music i hope you understood please do subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon and like and share this video. Uh, till then, we'll meet again. Thank you.